going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Happy Hump Day Wednesday, if you celebrate that type of thing. What a, what a weird intro. Anyways, um, I don't spill my coffee. Whilst um, we move forwards, what I wanted to have a chat with you about, but first things first, is I just wanted to say thank you ever so much for the support on my last film film video that i uh that i put out um to say that I, I think i've got 30 something 33 subscribers now which again I, I really really appreciate and especially people liking the video it really really does help it means that it gets out there to more people so i just appreciate the support on the on the film if you would video stop saying film you're not a director um if you would like to obviously keep up to date with everything that I'm going to be bringing out then if you could hit the subscribe button the notification bell share the videos as they come out and comment as well like the videos all of that kind of good stuff it really does help me out so I really do appreciate it what I wanted to have a conversation about today and I've kind of held off doing it really is is just about the loan players that we have and kind of where they're going to fit in terms of the squad so right off the bat I would say should we get promoted I would struggle to have any of the players back and that's just a personal thing because for me and I get that being a footballer is a short career but every single one of those players had at least six months to a year in them where they could have really helped and laid the market down for getting us promoted or getting us close to being promoted again. And none of them did. Um, we obviously had the situation with Nonto, which quite clearly was um, a situation with poor um, advice. And it was well noted by Farker it was well dealt with by Farker in my opinion and he's now back into the fold everybody loves him again Sinistera as far as I'm concerned I, I don't want him anywhere near the club whatsoever at all I get again you have a situation you need to look out for yourself and you know we all have this romanticized view of this club that we all love but at the end of the day you do not shit where you eat. That It's just threatening legal action, which is exactly the same as what Tyler Adams did. Threatening legal action, is ju it's not the way to go about it for me. And it tarnishes anything that he'd done previously for the club in terms of how good of a player we thought he was, what he brought to the table, etc. So on and so forth. For me, all of that, you can forget all of that as far as I'm concerned. I think... Threatening legal action is a horrible, horrible way to go about the situation. So I wouldn't have him. I wouldn't have him back absolutely at all. Rasmus, as we know, struggling quite badly at Roma. It was well noted by the by the ultras at Roma. They weren't impressed with him as a player. His performances have not been very good. I don't know if he's getting up to speed now or not, but it's it's just kind of the way it is. Um, Aronson by all accounts i mean by his own admission he's struggling a lot i think he struggles with the physicality of the game i think he struggles with not falling over all of the time and it not being he just he, there's a decent player in there he just needs to get onto the weights and again would i have him back potentially potentially because there is a player in there um Woba, not interested. You can fuck off to Munch and Gladblack as far as I'm concerned. Um In fact I would pay for him to go to Gladback as far as far as I'm concerned. Just go, gone, don't care. I don't care. Um It's the jumping of ship and moving away when there's a problem and not facing up to your responsibilities. And again, I, I use it as the example. Jorginho never once came out and said he wanted to leave, never once came out and said he wasn't happy, has never downed tools, has never not put in the effort, and his redemption arc this season has been 
phenomenal. He is, and I said it in my last video, he is my absolute favourite player. That is how you go about handling a situation. Even if another club was to come in now and put some money in for him and we were to sell him, if we were to get anywhere near what we actually paid for him, in say like in January, as much as it would be annoying, and it would be, but you would kind of go, do you know what? He's put the effort in for six months. I can I can stand that. It's it's more of a it's an easier pill to swallow if that makes sense. It just just honor your contract and honor your obligations. And like I said, I just feel like certain players were very 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 quick just to bugger off. Jack Harrison as well. Would I have Jackie back? No, I wouldn't. And God's honest truth, I wouldn't. You know, I hope he does well at, um, at Everton. I hope, you know, whatever. I don't wish him bad or ill or anything. But, you know, when you're part of the reason that a team gets relegated and the first thing that you want to think about doing is just jumping ship and disappearing off somewhere else, then, yeah, like I said, it just... It doesn't sit very well with me. It, it, I just, I don't like it. I don't know. You let me know how you feel about it in the comment section down below. And when you look at the players that we've got now, like Ampadu in midfield and how good Ampadu is and what a breath of fresh air. He's an upgrade. I don't care what anybody says. He is an upgrade. Full stop. Kamara in. Gruev in. Dan James coming back. And Dan James, and I know he's the eternal frustrating player. However, he's got four assists this season. And he, he was like um, a kid in a sweet shop when he came back because it's like, it's clear to me, this is where he wants to be. And I will quite happily take players who want to be here over anybody else. And like, you know, I know I think people like Ailing and people like Cooper get a lot of stick now because obviously I think in terms of their guaranteed first place position is, is, is potentially coming to an end a little bit. For me, the loyalty that they've shown to the club, I mean, Coops was offered tax-free money. He didn't take it. You know, you don't need to say anything else. He is going to be, and I think, it's where he needs to find himself at the moment. He's going to be, he's going to be a good backup this season, I think, um, and not much more than that. Although Farker will probably change it according to who we're playing and how it how it needs to be and everything and and, and stuff like that. But I just feel like at the moment the squad cohesion's a lot better. I think there was a rottenness within the club. I think that the coaching side of stuff, the managers that we went through last season didn't help the situation at all. I think that the players all thought they were better than what they actually were. I mean, Weston McKenney, did you see that photograph of him that <laughs> that went online from him in the game that they played against Germany that they lost 3-1? That boy has been on the burgers, has been on the burgers, and it just doesn't look good for him. He just looks fat. <laughs> just looks fat and unhealthy. I don't know what else to say. That's just what he looks like. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to have a little bit of a conversation just with regards to the lonely players. Would you have any of them back? There's, I don't, the majority, no, would be, would be my honest answer. And I know it might be cutting my nose off to spite my face, but you don't shit where you eat. And I feel like that's what certain players have done. Um, and I think that's going to be a bridge too far for them to build or to walk across to the other side again and make it right. It's going to be interesting to see what does happen in January because already there are rumours swirling and bits and pieces. And I, I try not to talk about those too much until you start to see confirmed reports coming. Um, I would... No, do you know what? I'm not going to speculate at all. Let's keep this onto one topic. The lone players. Would you have them back or would you not have them back? Let me know in the comments section down below. As I said before, if you've enjoyed the video, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you for stopping by. Cheers.